Right, what I'm going to do now is show you how the abort function works and how the fire crier tells you the abort function is in play. Yeah? So again, what we'll do is we'll trigger the heat detector, which is cross zone with the smoke detector. So first of all, stage one, which is the, the heat detector. Right. No chance of any uh, uh, extinguishing released at the moment. We'll now trigger the second stage. First stage, extinguish and release warning. A little bit of smoke into the smoke detector. It should now go into second stage alarm. Three, two, one. First stage, extinguish and Second stage, extinguish and release warning. Right. Countdown timer is started. So I want to abort it because it's actually a, a false press this abort switch. Second stage, extinguish and release warning. It comes up with abort activated. And it'll actually tell me now. Extinguish and gas release on hold. On hold. So I can now do a quite an easy reset if I want. Extinguish and gas release on hold. So all I need to do now is press the reset button. Release the extinguish and abort switch, and everything's back to normal. So I've aborted the actual uh, extinguish and release, and the fire cries told me that. Lovely.